My biggest haul yet. So much stuff to show you guys that I got this month. Ah! What is up, Internet? I'm Retro, and we're back with another episode of Retro Hunting. So the number one question I get asked is where do you get all of this stuff? I get it from garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, anywhere I can find stuff really, really cheap. And this is actually my first full out pickups video. And I was inspired to do this by CJR. So he's one of my favorite retro gaming channels. He does a lot of other stuff too, like music, uh, RC cars, and his gaming collection is absolutely nuts. So if you love this kind of stuff, be sure to check out his channel. I'm gonna put it down in the comment section below so you can check that out. So yeah, I was inspired by him and I wanted to do a full out pickups video. So if you get bored at any time during this video, just watch Back to the Future. I've conveniently placed myself to the your right so you could watch that. Hello? Anybody home? Hey, think with fly. So some of the stuff that I found was a ton of video games, uh, a ton of old VHS movies, records, um, toys, what else? Like the whole video you saw at the very beginning wasn't even everything. I couldn't even fit everything into the picture. And also I'm gonna do it kind of random. I'll show you some movies at one point and I'll show you some games at one point. And I'm not gonna show you guys the best things first or last because I want you to hang with me throughout the whole video. Let's get started. So first up we have these old Walt Disney record slash books. Um, you put these on, you listen to the record and you follow along. Um, with the book. I thought these were really, really awesome. I just found these a couple days ago. Um, so they look like this and you open it up and it has the book. It has all the pictures and you read along with it. And then there's the record. And these were, you can see that, 50 cents each. Um, there were a lot of them and I picked out the ones that I liked the best and I have so much I've got to go quick I've got to go quick so I've got Robin Hood I've got this was my favorite one I love the artwork on that one the rescuers that the jungle book three little pigs the artwork I'm telling you the artwork is insane on these these are 30 40 years old um, Mary Poppins Alice in Wonderland, Pinocchio, and Disney Discovery Series A, B, ABCs. So these cost me a total of, there's nine of them, so that's $4.50, and I priced these out and looked, they're about $10 each. So $90, I paid $4.50. I'll try to keep like a running total of how much I paid for everything too. Somewhere on the screen. First pick up. I don't know where to even put all this crap. Okay. Okay. Next up is this very strange, strange, weird item. N64 power adapter. Not just that. It is a car power adapter. So I've never seen this before. Um, I remember the van that I grew up with. We had a uh, like a, probably a 13 inch CRT right in the middle of the um, front seat and the passenger seat. I don't know, maybe it was something like that, but I've never seen one of these before. And it was at a Goodwill, it was $5. Um, I can't find one anywhere. I haven't I haven't been able to find one on eBay to kind of get an idea of how much it's worth. I'm sure it's worth at least $5, but I just thought it was kind of a weird thing, so I picked it up. Next up is this, Tiger Quiz Whiz. Um, I remember seeing this when I was a kid, 1993. Um, it just, you just ask you questions and then you answer them with these buttons. And it's got like the game cartridge in it. So I believe there are different cartridges you can get, but uh, I saw this at a Goodwill a couple days ago and I could not believe it. This stuff's weird. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to see stuff like this now. 93, that's what, that's 26 years ago. So this was $3 and there's that. Something similar. Uh, a Yahtzee game, this was $1.91. These used to sell pretty well on eBay, anywhere from 10 to 15. 
I honestly haven't looked in a while. Oh. We're playing, we're playing. But I don't know how much that they go for now. So, off. Off! How do you freaking turn it off? I turned the sound off, whatever. Okay, next up, let's do a couple game pickups. Here is Starfy on the DS. Then we got Animal Crossing Wild Worlds. Said that right. And then Star Trek Tactical Assault. So most games that I get are at the Goodwill for $1.99, and that's how much all three of these were. All right, next up, let's hit some VHS. We got the original Land Before Time, the first kid with Sinbad, DuckTales, the movie Treasure of the Lost Lamp. Loved that movie. This one has already been called by somebody. Small Soldiers. Actually, a pretty good movie. Hey, I got something with that. Uh, this. A small soldier's figure. This was a dollar. It's This might have been two dollars at a um, flea market that was in town. But... Ah! James and the Giant Peach. Not really talked about that much. I love this movie. Pokemon 3. Angels in the Outfield. All right, let's do some more game pickups. So these were $1.99, and I got these all at one time. So somebody obviously dumped off their PS1 collection. So first up is Twisted Metal. Really great game. Uh, these are all complete and in pretty good shape. So $1.99, uh, Hot Wheels Turbo Racing. Tetris Plus. I've actually never played this. I've seen it a lot, but I've never played it. Strikers 1945. I think this game and the next game actually have a little bit of value. Colony Wars 3. Oh, this is a good one. Road Rash 3D. I grew up playing this on the Sega. Great game. Arcade... Greatest Hits, Midway. Twisted Metal 4. How many Twisted Metal games do they have on the PlayStation? Dang. Game Exchange, $29.95. Not for me. Here's a, is this the same? Oh, that was Midway's arcade. This is Williams Arcade, Greatest Hits. South Park, Shifts Love Shack. Also had this on the N64. South Park Rally. Pretty good cart game. People don't talk about that one either. And then PTO. Know nothing about this game, but remember looking it up and it having a little bit of value as well. Sweet. So there's a bunch of game pickups. Next up, let's do some board game pickups. So first up we have Sarah Whittle. 26 years ago, you played a game with a little boy down the street. A game of drums. Jumanji. This looks like a very, very cheap version of it. Like a dollar store version or something. But it was $1.91. I think these all have the prices on them. Okay. Monster Mash. It's wacky, thwacky, matching action game. So this was $4 and it says, but it sells for up to 60. No, oh, well, why didn't you sell it for 60 then? We'll have to review some of these on the channel at some point. I do, I do remember seeing the commercials for this, but I never played it. It is Tilt and Tumble. And you can see 323, that's how much I paid for it. I always love these. I always love the people on the back of these. Like, they are having the time of their freaking life. Like, I love Tilt and Tumble so freaking much. I want to play Tilt and Tumble every day. Well, all right, good for you. And then I got 13 Dead End Drive. This was 2.92. I remember 
mostly just putting this game together, like getting the whole game put together, but not really playing it. That's what we always did with this game. Kind of like Mousetrap. And then I got 13 Dead End Drive. Okay, so uh, I've never seen this. I, I grew up on it, but I'd never seen it at a flea market. I buy it at a Goodwill, and then two days later, I find it again. And this one was even cheaper. It was 252. Next up, N64 controllers. So I never see N64 controllers at my Goodwill, um, but they had four of these all bunched together like this, and they were $5 each. But every one of these has a really tight stick. So we've got the yellow one, the OG gray, this black one. I mean, I'm talking like, I mean, they're solid. This one, uh, the blue one, and it comes with the rumble pack. I, I, I couldn't believe it. So I'll pair these with uh, other consoles and get these out the door. Um, these, I think N64 controllers are around $25 to 30 if they have a tight stick. So 20 total, great deal. Next up, let's do some more VHS. We got the mask. This one was cool. Power Rangers, no clowning around. Don't you freaking mess with me, all right? I'm the Pink Ranger, and I will beat you up, Christmas tree. Home Alone 1 and 2. The first Nickelodeon movie, Harriet the Spy. And Rugrats the movie with the orange VHS. Also picked up, I'm, at this point, I'm just grabbing stuff. This is a Mario Kart 64. Uh, it looks like it's like a Happy Meal toy or something, but it almost looks like a uh, like a N64 controller, kind of. I don't know what they're going for. 1997, and you get the ball and you try to balance it, and probably a piece of crap. 25 cents. Again, oh VHS, I get them all for a quarter. Quarter. Let's do some more uh, game pickups. We got Sonic Spinball. This was at a flea market for $1.99 which I don't think it's worth probably too much more than that. It might be worth like six to eight bucks, but it was complete. I actually didn't have this complete, now I do. And then we got Long Box NHL Face Off. Um, these were all, let's see, these, these nine games were $1.99. So I kind of have a rule. If a game is $2 or less, I pick it up as long as it's not a sports game. So we have Ice Age 2 on the GameCube. Toy Story 3. Zack and Wiki. This is a Capcom game. I've heard good things about it. Have never played it. Two bucks. Ben 10, Alien Force. Okay, these actually, these two were $4.94 but they were half off uh, yellow that day. So like 250, 245, something like that. So Mario Kart Wii, easy flip game. In Mario Sports Mix, not a rare game, but not one you see all the time. And then Mario Super Sluggers, that one was $1.99. And then I got these, these three. Now I cannot tell you the last time I saw a boxed Super Nintendo game. Now, they're nothing to write home about, but uh, I got this with a VHS. Where's that VHS at? Here it is. And I got these at the VHS price, so a quarter. So they, I got uh, this weird Zelda cartoon, which is probably so bad. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. And I think it's complete, which is insane because, oh, no, there's no manual. You know what? For a quarter, I cannot complain. So, for one quarter, NHL 94. This one actually holds a little bit of value. I, I was surprised uh, at that, but I think it's worth 15, 15-ish. And then NBA All-Star Challenge, who we have on here? We have Hakeem, Patrick Ewing, Carl Malone, Rick Smits, Clyde Drexler, and somebody right there, I don't remember who it is. Uh, friggin' quarter. 75 cents for these uh, three boxed Super Nintendo games. Sports, but whatever. And then I picked up Half-Life for the PS2. Not a very great port 
obviously way better on the PC, but still not a super common game. And that was two bucks. Woo! We're getting there. Let's look at a couple old school toys. So here is a eight ball. Will we have just as good a month retro hunting in May? Don't count on it. And then we have these. These were a dollar each. And do you remember these? They look like a VHS case, clamshell case. Now you can make your own movie scenes like Woody captured by wild beasts with a different Disney star in every McDonald's Happy Meal. So you can celebrate the release of your favorite Disney and Pixar videos. And they're McDonald's toys? Yeah. And I got two of them. Look at Pocahontas. And you do her hair, I guess, with that brush or something. They look like they've never been opened before. I got two of them. I got this one and I got Return of Jafar. Pretty cool. We are getting there, people. Here we go. Let's hit up a couple more VHS. We, we're getting near the end. Hang with me. Ghostbusters, the original. Here's the Breakfast Club, and it's sealed. It's still, it's still sealed. It's never been open. I don't know if that gives any more value or not, but I love this freaking movie. The Brave Little Toaster. And then here are three more uh, Pokemon VHS. I don't collect these. I don't have any interest in keeping these, so if you're interested, please let me know on those. A couple more VHS dinosaurs. Oh, don't judge me, y'all. I grew up on Pee Wee. I thought that one was awesome. Pee Wee's Playhouse, the ice cream scoop episode. Can't say that I remember that one. I watched this movie so much. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? Not very good. I'm just not gonna talk. Quite possibly my favorite cover art to a movie. Ninja Turtles 1. I love both of these movies so much. So, so much. So that's those. My only DVD pickup, Ernest Goes to Jail. <laughs> I love that movie. Okay, here are two toys that I knew nothing about. When I was in the Goodwill, I saw these and they open up like, um, almost like Mighty Max toys. So they open up like this and you have like your cars and then you hide the other things over here. If you can see, I don't know if you can, but I had no idea what they were. And they are marked, um, I think 97 Galoob. Am I saying that right? Galoob toys. They were $5 each, but I couldn't figure out what they were. I threw up on Instagram, hey, can anybody tell me what these are really fast? And I had a ton of people help me. And they were like, those are Micro Machine play sets. And you need to pick them up if they're $5. So I picked them up. Um, again, they're not super valuable. They're worth about 20 bucks each. But so they're worth 40, picked them up for 10. And they're, they're really cool. I mean, look at this thing. And it has like the Air Force Base. And I have the pieces down here as well. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have a, just a swell time playing with these. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. If anybody's interested, please, please let me know. Cool. We're getting down to the end. I'll show you one of the really good games that I got. I got this in a trade here in town for a couple 64 games that I had not much into. I got, them in a, I got them at a garage sale and they needed a Mario Party and a Mario Kart. And I seriously got them for next to nothing. And I traded it for Knights of the Round. Amazing game. I used to have this and I sold it a long time ago and I was so bummed that I did. But I have it again, Knights of the Round. We got like five more things. Hang with me. Okay. I am not interested in this at all. But again, somebody helped me on uh, Instagram as well. I saw these and thought, are these worth anything? I don't know. Sailor Moon, the movie, Hearts in Ice and the Promise of the Rose. Um, my sister, my little sister grew up on Sailor Moon. I never watched it. I've never been into anime. 
uh, at all, but I know a lot of people are. And I thought I'd pick these up and hopefully they will go to a great home. Then we have the orange box. This was $1.99, Xbox 360. This is an easy flip as well. Transformers the movie on VHS, really clean copy. I know that this movie gets a lot of flack, but uh, still nonetheless, to get it for a quarter, still pretty cool. Okay, I have never, ever seen a Say by the Bell VHS and looked it up and this is worth anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks. And again, this was a quarter. So I picked that up. Team NT3, um, obviously the worst of the three. In my opinion, I still watched it, and so did uh, Steven Marino. I got your VHS, man. And lastly, I picked up Castlevania Bloodlines. Amazing game. Um, I wish I had the box for it. It's hard for me to keep Sega Genesis games um, without the box, just because they're a little bit harder to store uh, and display. But this one, you gotta have this one. So yeah, that is it. That is everything we found for the month of April. I'll try to put down uh, a tally of everything that I paid and um, yeah if you like the video make sure to hit that like button and if you've enjoyed this kind of content make sure to subscribe. We cover all things retro and nostalgia from video games, movies, TV, toys, and more. Make sure to check out some of my other videos and until next time, peace.